it looks like today we're, we're gonna go take plants out of the greenhouse, okay? And we're gonna put them in bigger pots with one gallon pots over there. I got a bunch of stuff in the greenhouse that's just been neglected, needs a bigger pot. So there's some soil that's already mixed at the bottom. That's a great thing to have because you got some perlite and some soil there. It's gonna make it so you have an even mixture, even if it's not so evenly mixed. Right now we're gonna take a hop and a trot over to the soil area and grab a bale of your standard peat moss. It's very hot out today. Here's an empty pot right there. What's going on, Frank? E. We're repotting today. Repotting, I'm running out of soil. My soil mound is getting smaller. Huh, okay. Oh. This ain't gonna go quickly, it's gonna go very slow. I probably should do two at once too, but it'd be nice to have a, 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 a dolly, a tree dolly to, to drag this with. You know what? I might walk over and grab that. I don't feel like hauling these over. Hey, hopefully we don't lose connection. New chicken house, it's working out. It's working out. I'm gonna go grab the tree dolly. Shit, I don't know if I lost my hat or what. Buddy, it's so hot. It's 95 degrees right now. It makes you just want to go into some sort of siesta mode. An indoor siesta phase. An AC-like slumber. Just stuff that needs it. That's been there for a minute. Look at the tires. It's been sitting there for a while. Hey people, we hope this stream doesn't fall apart. Ah. Chickens bugging out. Uh oh, road roadblock. Guys, a little extra shade over there. There's a good buddy. This wire I got from a friend is great. Beautiful stuff. I can wrap my grove with that. I might take down that shade cloth and wrap the grove with that around the sides and then put the shade cloth over the top. That's probably the next plan. I think that may be what I do. I'm gonna need some more posts. Posts have gone up in price. Yeah, fabric pot. I, I really don't like fabric pots. That's just me personally, but I know there's some guy that uses them and he's like, what are you talking about, Adam? Things are great, man. They're just great. But hey, I'm not a fabric pot type of girl. I need plastic. I'm a Barbie girl in my Barbie world. I don't want no fabric. It dries out real fast. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. That song was actually pretty good. At the time, I couldn't handle it. You know, I was probably, forget how old I was when it came out, but at the time, I couldn't, I couldn't see the vision, but now, I get it. I understand. Come on, Barbie. Ooh, ah, 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 yeah. It's fantastic. You batty fucker. 
Uh, almost lost it there, ladies and germs. Made it. This is a perfect size pot for what I do. Let's go ahead and set you down. If it loses connectivity, just go ahead and let me know. <laughs> What's up? Macalom. Didn't miss much. We're ripping packs. I bet you the phone's probably gonna fall when I do this. Let's see if I can if I can do this without making the phone fall. Fell forward, but not. Almost would be a chore to add another. I don't know, I might just want to mix them one at a time. I used to mix two at a time, but I think I'm just gonna mix this one at a time. Let's go get some perlite. I got some perlite. It don't take a lot. Just a little bit of perlite. A long way. I say 5%, but I bet you I only use about 2%. That's what my guess is. Oh, nice. I got the fertilizer here. Oh, that stuff stinks, buddy. Here, you can see how much I use. See that? I dumped a pile of perlite over there. Big old pile of espoma. Smells like a hamster cage today. Just like a hamster's cage. Have you cleaned your hamster's cage today? I recommend you clean it. It mixes up real nice because I already got some soil underneath it. So you're not gonna have any patches that don't have perlite. So I like to leave a little bit of soil from the last time you mixed it, just to help make sure you have perlite throughout. But it looks like I used a lot of perlite. Nice. Yeah, that's no problem. Seeds, three, four weeks. No problem, very easy. So wait, did you have to stand in line at the post office, Shiloh? I know, where's my mixing chickens? When you sent that international, did you have to fill out a customs form and stand at the, okay. So yeah, we'll be able to ship to the places internationally. I'll start to mess with those eventually, but right now is not the time. It's a slow time of year, but for me, it's not quite slow yet.
this phone that won't let me put it down it's just about mixed i mean I, I could stop mixing now but the more you mix it usually the better because it breaks up all the particles there's a big chunk of something there let's investigate oh perlite that means it wouldn't mix good if you get big clumps of perlite wow i got a ways to go people i'm being lazy but you mix it as you go if you're planting seeds it's more important that you mix it properly if you're planting big trees you can be lazy and not mix it as well but little seedlings you're gonna run into issues inhale hawaii baby <laughs> i was over here i didn't know you're going over that way sorry cat i didn't know you're out there you've been inhaling hawaii <sighs> how hot is it over there insanely hot yeah it is you want to take you want to take a stab at that feels good man where's, where's your helper which ones your, uh... oompa loompas yeah no they're not here today we're gonna take human help dusty you're not gonna need to mix it too much more but i, I figured um water yeah you smell it you do that's dusty i think it's mixed about where we need it okay. let me show you some aggressive mixing techniques here okay. you take this here don't show your yeah you're good. don't show what you don't want to show your license plate do you oh uh, yeah it is a temporary what i'm looking for is patches of yeah, it's pretty aggressive, man. It's aggressive. <sighs> when you're uh, mixing, you turn your head, show. Breathe the way. Then go back. But I found the big patch. It's like taking a breath. It's like taking a swat of fresh air. But right now, I'm not breathing. Hey, Mac Tom. Hi, Bill. Take these people over to the greenhouse and I'll lose connectivity. But let's try it anyway, I guess, huh? How many viewers we got? Like 15? Uh, 16, yeah. Yeah, we're about to lose them all by walking over to that greenhouse up here. Um, uh, we're gonna take my truck. Yeah, it ain't gonna help nothing. Huh. Huh. I wish you knew which ones we need to repot. Let's go over there and risk it. Let's risk it all. I got you. Let's go. Let's walk over there. What I'll do is I'll get us started. We'll take some by hand. I can I can choose the ones to repot. You could, but then it wouldn't be the ones that I want to do. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. That makes sense. Look at these. See these trees coming up are China berry. These ones right here, they suck. If you ever see those, pull them. Okay. That, that tree, this tree, all of these trees. See them? Yeah. These problem tree, man. Is that the one the weeds in your? It grows up. Did you taste one of these over here, homeostasis? These ones right here? Looks like a squirrel's been sucking on the juice, man. Might have to pick some of these. I am gonna probably do a listing for a bag, uh, a box of lemon drop mangosteen fruits of the superior variety. I got one tree with a bunch of fruit on it. So that's a, poss a possibility. All right, let's see if we lose connectivity. Let's keep going. There's Clark's scrotum pinch free chair for elderly patients. I did get a pinch on myself yesterday and I'm only in my 40s, so I uh, might have to get my, my money back from Walmart for Clark on that. Wow, looks good. Yeah, Clark weeded these up. You see how low that one's planted? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad thing. Look at all the suckers at the base of this tree, bruh. Is this the heat making the leaves do this? Probably, yeah. But look at the suckers at the base. You see all that action? That's got to be rectified. I just take my hand. Yeah, you just rub them off. Yeah, you rub them off, man. You take them over and you start rubbing them off. This is grafted what? Uh, Iliagnus. Latifolia. What what this one do? It makes a red fruit that's astringent if you eat it too early. It tastes good, like a stra yeah. strawberry. It's about that big, man. Yeah. It's beautiful fruit with a silver spot. Now here's where we might lose connectivity if we do. Oh, friggin' well. All I gotta do is talk slow, walk 
slow, think fast, man. Bruce Lee advice, be like water. Don't put hand in fan blade. Only the penitent man will pass. Ooh. All right, now these are the ones I'd like to repo. These trays right here, we'll just start pulling any trays you see that are weeded, lots of weeds in it like these, you see? Yeah. We're just gonna go through and rescue these. Can you grab that one right here? This one's heavy as shit, dude. Tell me that's not a 30 pound tray. 20 maybe, 15. So these are all ones that need to be. We'll just start with this hand, but now you know. Knowing is half the battle. Now we'll have more space to graft. Yeah, if you can carry it. I'm only I'm only gonna be able to carry one. I can carry one, so just carry that. And then we'll come back and get more later. Okay, we made it out. These are these old trays that just need to go in. They, they're not looking good. They're taking up space on my table with weeds that I haven't pulled. And the only option right now for me to have table space to use for something else is to go ahead and put these in pots. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a minimum amount of soil. We're gonna work swiftly. We're not gonna call each other names. This is the one that tastes like a white grape. Now I want, Clark, can you taste this or are you off limits? No, you're doing it. You shut his stuff down. Get one that's nice and ripe and tell me, does it have a, like a, that one may be too far, but try it maybe. Let's see. It's far, that's mm -hmm. far, try that one. Tell me, does it have a white grape flavor somewhat? White? White. White grape flavor. I'm giving you the Clark's eye view. Does it somehow hit you different than the others? <laughs> you breathe in the water. I do that too. Yeah, I take a little swallow of water. What do you say though about the flavor? Something different? Disgusting? Uh, that first bite is like overpowered. It's like bam! Yeah. Bang! Yeah. Uh, with uh, tartness and something else. Was it white grape? You ever get that? Mm. He doesn't get that. His tastes are different than mine. But that one too may have not been perfectly ripe. Anyway, we tried. White grape. Pick up some fruit for you. Later on, yeah. We got to pick up a bunch of seeds. He doesn't say he doesn't taste the white grape. I didn't even get the apricot that time. Yeah, it was maybe the fruit. Sometimes you get one that just doesn't give it justice. And we've been having this extreme wet weather and, and rain and the, the heat. And, the fruit tastes best usually in spring and fall, but midsummer fruit sometimes, depending on how the conditions are here at my house, pretty rough. If you get too much rain and the ground is soggy, it's gonna mess things up. Still have fruit, it's not gonna have peak quality. Same with the Jabuticabas too. Too much heat, too much rain. So we just kind of set them right there. Okay. And then we need one gallon. Those are over there. <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah, that pretty, <laughs> Breathe it in. I've done that many, many times. I'd say get about a 50, 60, maybe 70. You see them over there? One gallons are right there. They're just in rows. And then if we can bang them off, if you see ants, you know, you're going to probably need half of this. And I usually take them, check for crawling ants everywhere, yeah. and then bang the shit out of them. And then we take, uh, the, see, I'm going to show you how I do it, is, uh, if you can hand me one of them trays, just that broken, whatever. Yeah. I, uh, I take the seedling, I flip it over like that, use my pinky, you know, to push it out. 
that. Pull off all the weeds, like that. Yeah, rip off that top layer, thing like that. Oh, I, ripped, I lost the seedling. And then, I don't want to pot them too high is the problem. Uh, low pot stage. Yeah, this so. This is stage one. It's just something to get them in the next size. And let's see, that's it. Not, not filled up all the way. That was perfect. So that's how I do it. So you, you want to try? Yeah. We take it like that. We try not to destroy the, the root ball. A lot of this shit, you see that? Oh, I ripped that one. And then we... Get my chair. You basically take off the whole layer of this shit. Soil mixer showed up, man. Late to the party. Yeah. These are just red jabbity coppas too. Very strong trees. You got a tray over there. You're gonna need some of these, eh? Hey. Yeah. We're gonna have hope it rains, because these need water. The ones that, I, that if you hurt them, you know? Yeah. Missed a couple up so far. There's some Garcinias in here. We're gonna do the same thing. I wouldn't fret about the Garcinias if they come apart like this. You see that? They're real strong. Dude. As long as they get watered, put in the shade, it's good to go. You gotta stick your pinky underneath, or a stick. If you don't want to use your pinky, a stick works. And you can destroy the trays if you need to. You know what I mean? I tell you folks, I'll make it look easy. I really do. These are all seedlings that have just kind of been neglected and they need that boost in life. What, yeah, that works. Damn chicken's messing up my hard work. These pots work real good as camera holders. So what we do is we take out the plug and rip off that top layer, with the weeds like that. Try not to destroy the roots, then put it in the pot and then add soil. I think these are reds, right? Look yeah, like they're reds. Rojos, we call them. Okay. Yeah, Clark knows what he's doing. Just trying to keep the roots together, but look, Clark, look what I just did. Just ripped it up. Same thing, you know what yeah, I mean? I'm I, to I, me too, but I fudge up, Clark, and I get impatient. That's okay. And it's okay with these. If it was something more rare, I'd say no, no way. But these are just whatevers, you understand? Is this something here, Adam? This one? Looks like it from here. Looks like a shitty little seedling that wants some help. I always think this is like the Titanic and we're rescuing little people, right? Think, think about it.
Sometimes I let some go because they don't look like they want to live, you know? You ever see that one? Where you say, wow, I mean, this guy needs to go. That's a nice little lake down the road. I haven't seen it. Yeah, you have. Oh, that one, yeah. I haven't seen it. I've lived here 10 years. I didn't realize you were talking about that. I thought you meant like this road. No, all the guys were there with their big fishing boats. Oh, really? They Where do they go out catch uh, minnows? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I just ripped that seedling up. Sunfish? They catching bass, man. Largemouth bass? LMB, baby. Wow. You know what? Uh, Are there some lunkers out there? I want to go hang out in the parking lot and be like, Hey, dude, can I just come on your boat, dude? No, you don't. I've got a 12-pack of natty ice. I just need a ride. <laughs> natty ice. <laughs> I wonder if there's people that do that. They're like, I can't afford to go. Yeah, it's some little seedling. Good eye, eagle eye. That, that sounds like that'd be Jeremy. Jeremy would go on the boat, but he wouldn't be begging. Right. Does he have his own boat? Sure, he doesn't. He doesn't have one, but I think his friend does. I don't know. I don't think he does. He might. Mm. He might could. I know he's had one at one point. If he doesn't now. But yeah, uh, my uh, friend Jeremy Rowling and Adam's friend came by last night. I got to meet him for the first time. Him and his real nice wife. Yep. Nice people. Good people. This is good people. Can I show you a trick, Adam? What? See what I did there? Nope. What did you do? I angled the soil. What does that do? It lets me yeah. go down further and then I just go like that. Yeah. And it's planted. Whatever works. I just usually throw them. Yeah, I guess it's, it's like holds it in place for you, right? Yeah, and then you yeah. just fill one side. Yeah, I do the same thing. I didn't consciously. Yeah, you, you've probably been doing that. Look at that roach. Is there a chicken? Sorry, a roach. Great, great minds in for life. Hey, chicken. That's a little bit high, isn't it? That's fine. Chicken got the roach, y'all. I feel bad for the roach. Think about that. The roach was minding its business, living its life. We aren't saving weeds, right? No, we're not saving weeds today. You know, uh, my baby Eva likes to have weeds thrown on her back. What happens then? She she wears them like a green coat. Or like one of those bugs. You know the, the bugs I'm talking about? No. Yeah. They put stuff on their back. They're called like a decorator bug. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exact mundo. We're making our way through this slowly but certainly. Some of these trees are not almost not worth saving. Like this little piece of shit right here. But who knows, it could be the new all-star of the team. So we're giving it a chance here at Flying Fox Roots. We give these little guys a chance, but not too much soil, you know? It's healthy, it's fine. It's just been hot, neglected, that sort of thing. Y'all are down and dirty today. Put you in a dirt hole, didn't I? I don't use cocoa core. To be honest, I don't know where to get it except for like the hydroponic store. They don't sell it at Home Depot. I could get it at BWI, but I never did. I don't like it, personally, but I haven't tried to grow in it a lot. I've just got stuff from people in Cocoa Core and always been like, oh, this shit. It always pissed me off. I really don't like it. It's like, it's, it stays a little too wet. It's just not the same as peat. It's heavier when it does get wet. 
this is what I remember, but this is coming from a guy who just absolutely does not use Cocoa Core. And uh, I've seen other people that use it. This tray's done. They could bang that one out there. Someone's gonna have good results with it, and I ain't knocking what they do. It's just Cocoa Core. Do you ever use that shit? Um, I was wondering if, uh... oops. What? This will work, right? Yeah, it's fine. Just do what you got to do. Um, it's starting to rain. No, I've never really used it, but I was just wondering if it would be a reasonable alternative. It would be, if, prob if probably. If we couldn't get peat. Probably. Yeah. But What's the pH of it? Uh, probably neutral. Uh -huh. I would just be adding a lot of fertilizer to it and the mycorrhiza. They'll grow in anything. Do you know what I mean? You're just not going to... See what I do here? Yeah, I see what you do. Yeah, that's great. You know, you could do this. Look, you just throw it in all the way. Yeah. And then throw it on and then just lift up a little. Oh, uh, it's on, even easier. And then lift up. I like yours nothing. <laughs> yours is good too. It's all just how you're feeling, when you're, how you're throwing the dirt that day. You know what I mean? This is like a sport, man. We could have trading cards for potters. Yeah, one of, one of, one of our friends said, uh, looks tedious. And I said, no way, man. This is not tedious, bro. This is fun. We're creating life. You get all your micronutrients through your nostrils. You know? I would say the lifestyle that we lead probably has to be somewhat healthy, wouldn't you say? I guess we got to run, don't we? We got some work done. Look at my pile versus Clark's. One, two, three. Wow. He was just getting his willy wet though. Let's run, man. No, this... I was having a hard time. Just... They're shitty, man. This is a dangerous place to be right now. Let's run. Actually, it's a. Picture of the lightning strike I posted. No. Oh yeah, I did. That was crazy. Man. I wanna know. Have you ever seen the rain coming down? On a sunny day. I don't think we're gonna have to work, not work too long. <sighs> Yesterday, day. You know, this oh. thing didn't even skip a beat. No, it didn't. But it's blowed over a little bit. It's laid over a little bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. <sighs> Let's look for something that's crying. Something that's dying. To repot? Yeah. I'll find this. This one right here, let's do this one. Man, I was gonna find this one. Well, you could find something too, but we're definitely gonna do this one. Okay. You're headed into no man's land there. I ain't potting none of that shit. I wouldn't pick nothing, Clark. You're gonna be today taking too long. Okay. I'm selective too. I don't wanna repot nothing, but I gotta repot stuff. But this one I'm interested to see because the roots had been destroyed. Thanks, yo. The roots have been destroyed. All right. I guess you would want to face this way, but you hold it just like this, Clark, for a second. Yeah. And then watch your finger. You know what I mean? You would hold it like. I know. I would have regrabbed it. <laughs> you got to watch your finger in front of the lens. Uh, we're looking for a... Uh... For a pot now, aren't we? Something to complement this beautiful tree. What do you say, a 15 gallon? Uh. 15? But there's these over here. If this one's intact, I might use it. Ooh, there's a 15 hiding over here, buddy. Is that a dually? Take your soil, Clark? Yeah. Put it in the box. Is that the way it works? <laughs> is that, is that? Alright, you don't want to use too much, right? You have to do a lot of estimating. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I'll test fit it. You know what I mean? Yeah. To get the height right? It's very dangerous. Mm. Just kidding, it's not at all. It's smart. 
but I just don't like to do it. Yeah. So this one before it had the roots totally messed up by worms or something. Yeah. And so I repotted it to save it, change the soil out. We're just gonna give it a new pot today and take a look at the roots. What size was it in last time? Oh, I don't even remember. Two gallon? Wow, the roots came back, y'all. I'm telling you, this thing had nothing. It had nothing. When I repotted it about two years ago, it had been eaten all away. It had nothing. Now it's back. So you can save them if the roots get destroyed by worms. I think earthworms do it or something. Maybe it's something else, but something got to it and it was almost dead. What what kind is that handsome plant? It's a white jabuticaba, but it's like a funny type. Yeah, it is. And it's real weak. Like it's not been very vigorous compared to others. Not funny, ha ha. It's been starting. <laughs> It's funny, but you're right. It's like, you know, it's just odd. You know I mean? Yeah. Not Unique. Funny. Unique-ish. Yeah. Not funny. Uh, uh. You remember where that was from? <laughs> no. That was from Casino. Oh, uh, but I didn't. I, I know that from Casino, but I just didn't. I, yeah. didn't. I didn't know the reference, right? Yeah. I love that movie. That's funny. Yeah, of course you'd like that Hollywood scum. I like some of all the movies from a certain era, and then anything after, and then garbage, right? They made a bunch of really good gangster movies. Made me want to just go be a gangster. You know, uh, the Brits make good gangster films too. Yeah, well, you remember Snatch? Yeah, Train Spotting. Yeah. So that's it, buddy. We just re repoed that one. Yeah. Thanks, Car. You're welcome. We should probably drag it back over to where it, to Quince it came from. You think you could grab the other side and pick it up? It's pretty late. Yeah. Yeah. Uh If this was, if we we're at my place, out of my old place. 50 pounds? Yeah. That sucks. At least they don't blow over though. Yeah, that's, they never did. Oh, look at that grub. It could have got eaten by a chicken, but it's not gonna, not today. Save him for later. Her. Yeah. It. Z. Z. Yeah, this one has flowered. Has it? Yeah. Have you got any fruit off? No, not yet. Uh, yeah, nice peelage. Peelage. Oh, this one was uh, uh, polyamorous. Yeah. Da. Let's go get some more from the greenhouse. I guess so. There's no, you got some over there still we're working on though, right? Yeah, that's true. Looking for anything over here, like you were saying, that could be repotted, but it's all pretty much standard. What's that one with all the new growth right to your right there? This one? Yeah, no, the one next to it. I think this is a uh, Broncomel. Oh. I'd like for it to flower. It could any day. Any day now. Not today though. Is this a red? Anomaly. That's wow. Sure is light bulb. We could use a bigger pot on that if you wanted. Huh? Yeah, grab that some bitch. Um, the new growth. Interesting. Hey buddy, where's your sister? Getting hammered by Fred? Oh, is she in there? I hope it's not too hot for them. The water's on. I know, I turned that on. Yeah, what's, what's the little uh, crook's tail name? Uh, Barbara. Barbara. Looks like I could have got fruit set on this, uh, Nona. Yeah, you did. Maybe. They fall off. You don't know until a couple weeks, but it's like st there's something there. See these, right? There's another one somewhere. Let me see. You're blue and Nona. <laughs> yeah, that one looked a lot greener, but okay, it's newer. That's possibly sit we'll see more flowers coming but not a lot if i get fruit set that'll be awesome i heard they don't sell a lot of fruit watching y'all do what i need to do this weekend yeah so i'm gonna let clark handle this very rare tree he's gonna so this one, uh, need a little uh iron nah just fertilizer so what we're gonna do there it is right there i found it that's it that's it man we're not going too much bigger I just want to take it out of that special root pruner pot. And I don't fuck this up, Clark. 
You put your hand at the base, right? Right, I'm gonna... He, he's just trying to loosen it. That, really that's a stiff pot. You're not gonna be able, yeah, I won't know, huh? Watch for ants. Remember, they get on your chest. You know, if you hold it and hug it, I just bang it, bang it. Yeah, and then at the rim, hold it at the rim, yeah. and then shake. Yeah, it was, I saw it. You got it. Oh, let's look at the roots on that son of a gun. They look good. They look good, guten That thing's ready to fruit soon. Anomaly seedling. And so here's your soil in your pot. Let's make a handsome little bonsai. Bonsai. Oh, you put it on the plastic, huh? Oh. That's good. I like that. You're trying to be safe. Keep it away from any pests or any bugs. He's scooping the soil. Right now, he's in the third in the stretch. Look at the form he uses as he grasps the root ball carefully. And then he's going to actually give it a slight angle now to straighten it out. I thought he was, but he's actually doing something else. He's turning around. Now he's carefully digging and crafting a nest for the root ball, if you will, finding that perfect placement. Yeah, yeah. Just about so, the centering's a little off. The judges may knock him for that. In the final stretch, he's making some little adjustments here. Clark coming from USA team, representing the Potters. Perfect placement now. Watch him go. Timing's great, form's great, all that shit. Boom, look at the side angles there, wow. Wow. A plus plus, man, that's looking beautiful. That's some next level shit right there, man. Whoop. Oh, I think you put it on there, right? That that's on your that's good down there, and then put it on that podium there, that silver podium. Aluminum. Aluminum. Ah, uh, it's off. No, it's perfect actually. It's not gonna get any better than that. It's perfect. And you think when it goes into the next size pot, what's it gonna be off centered? It's like the Olympic rings. You just shift it over. Right. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I was hoping it would flower, but it hasn't yet. How old is that one? Oh, it's probably three years old. Three, you said? Yeah. Maybe older. It's Uder. a nice caliper to it. It does. It looks perfect, though. If it would flower, I would think to sell it, maybe. Try to get a, a nice, pretty penny for it. But Same place? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. How are your trees doing? Fine. Good. Go look at them. They're, uh, they'd be getting microbe showers. He's micro-dosing them. So walk us through your collection there. Um, that one looks like a... Otto Anderson. Arlo Anderson. That's a big one. I remember that one. Rimmel? No, no, I don't no, think... No, it is. That one is... Yeah, I think it is a Sabra, but it could be a, a Heshtinga. No, well... Yeah, you're right. It is a Sabra. That's... That one... Is a Sabra, but I gave you some Sabras that were Grimmel hybrids, it looks like. that I said they didn't look weird, but now, yeah. that, now that I'm looking at them, they do look weird. Oh, this is the Grimmel. That's the Grimmel. Yeah, these are weird Grimmel hybrid right there. They actually look kind of funny now that I look at them. And this one's an auto, though, right? That's an auto, yeah. That, that, that one's just not quite perfect Sabra. And then neither is that one, but they just weren't so alluring. Uh, 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 anomaly. Oh, nice. He got an anomaly out of it. And a Hestinger. Hestinger. Nice Hestinger. And then two, two roots. Sabres. Sabres. Failed grafts. This is his growing. This is your patch. You can fill this patch in, and then you'll have another. This is a trunk of flora hybrid right my, here. My new collection. This one hasn't flowered yet, but it's teased. It's teased a couple appearances. Watch for those ants. They'll get you. Or, uh, you notice your, uh, fruit or black? That's just that sooty mold. It's not gonna hurt nothing, does it? No, that's just ants and shit. That's fine. Those are just a couple. We could rip them off. Wow. What's it gonna do? Rip them off. These are gonna be fine. This has got way too much fruit as it is. Yeah. It needs to be in fuller sunlight. How's this mango doing? 
That's fine. I just put it in a new pot. What do you call this? Pickle ring. You mean the the, the, the sunburn? No, the, the white bugs and the discoloration. That's the sunburn. That's sunburn? That's a sunburn, like a magnifying grass. Okay. It came from in the greenhouse to out here, so I got a little sunburn. It's fine. What, what about this shit? Looks like just minerals or white fly, maybe. Okay. I'm not worried about it. Okay. It ain't for you sale. Mind. You ain't, I ain't. It's not, it's not for, that tree's not for sale. You know, we should fertilize. That's the pickering, is it? Pickle ring. Yep. It's what they've been calling it. Prickle ring. Pickle ring. So, I, we should put down some fertilizer. That's a very dirty job. We'll put some trash in here. And then we can take, these are fertilizer scoops. Those are implements of fertilization. You wanna grab that bucket there? Bucket? That thing, yeah. And then we're gonna come over this way and get, get a bucket, a bag of the fertilizer, eh? Now here's what I'm thinking, clock. We Those, could- uh, Plants I weeded totally need food. They do? This is what we're gonna do. I think this thing could work. It's not gonna hold a 50 pound bucket. There's several ways to do this, y'all. Look at this, look at my options before me. Look at what I do, look at what I do, look at what I do. You're gonna get three vessels and a bottom piece. Okay. I don't think the bottom piece is gonna help. We'll see. Oh. First off, does our bottom piece fit? No, it doesn't. Second off, that goes in there. This could maybe, yep, we can do two. And then we'll start filling them because it'll be easier to scoop from that from the bag. This is our bag of shite. Do you have an opener? No. I thought we did so much. Oh, uh, an opener? Open I one. Oh, one that is oh it's fine now. I'm going to use this full bag. Where's your knife? Uh, it's in the car, but I don't need it. It'll just rip. On the edge, I think. Yeah. There's like serrations. You see it? There should be little holes, pinholes and shit. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there. Nice. That stuff smells, doesn't it? 18 viewers, man, they're loving this shit. Ripping packs of holly tone. Oh, it got a little gooey. That's how you know it's good. Activated poo smell. And then go ahead and yeah, dump it in there. If you drop anything, we'll get it later, right? Fill the big one all the way if you can. I'm holding this steady. Boom, Clark's going hard. If you want to do half, you know, some in that, some in the other, whatever you want to do. You can, don't worry about spilling because it's all going in that, in this thing. Gorgeous. I'm just trying not to breathe this shit, huh? Good transfer. Solid transfer. I guess you could just leave it in the bag in the bucket, you think? Yeah. Cool. Nice. That's nice. It's like a workstation all in one. So let's go ahead and kind of get the levels down of how I like to do this. When do this huh? uh, well, at some point maybe, but right now I don't think we, we will need it. Uh, that's caught up on there, yeah, just this little thing there. So basically, here's your little scoop here. I think you're gonna be safe using this. Fill that sucker all the way. And then look at these levels. Uh, let's find something that needs it. I only really wanna hit planeas, Clark. Okay. So, let's see, this one right here. This is gonna go, this is a light application. That was a, any more could be, could be deadly. And then look at this application here. Well, probably not, but I get it. See how much I did? Yep. Yeah, and then, you, I would rather you go light than heavy. That's a little bit light. That was a little light, but I'd rather you do that. Okay. Okay? Yep. Don't go heavy. Go lighter than heavy because if you go too heavy, it'll kill something. With three, four, three? Yeah. Believe, I mean, I'm just worried, man. I'm worried, all right? Let's see what he does over here. That's a Eugenia, but I'm, I don't mind you fertilizing it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is 
just needs it right here. Sugar apple, though, you can go heavy on a sugar apple. Jijaba de Cabas always go light, light, or you're going to kill it. You'll kill everything. That's not chicken food, you dumbass. Get away, get away. Especially you gotta go light on stuff that's got a, a pot like this. Man, just barely hit it. If they got a deep pot and you just repot it or whatever, just go easy, man. This stuff, just give it a sprinkle, okay? I'm gonna have to hose that one, guy. Fertilizer all over the leaves and shit. That tweaks me out. I got fertilizer all over the leaves on my special tree. It's making me freaking nervous right now. No, I did it. I just did it, all right? Don't take it out of my pay. <laughs> Bert Fern. Your damn chickens are everywhere trying to eat this shit. I tell you, you if you bust out the chemicals, the chickens come running. Just as soon as you take out something they shouldn't have, they're going to go nuts. I should do a whole video on welcome weeds, weeds that I don't mind. But this would be one of the welcome weeds of the day. We call that um, Florida spinach. It's a portalaca relative. I forget the botanical name, but portalaca. You can eat the leaf. It's like slimy, tart, a little bitter, but they're good. I mean, I eat them sometimes. And it's got a pretty pink flower. It's easy to control. Look at that. It just, it's just that big piece just broke right off. Yeah, go ahead. I don't, I don't think the chickens will really eat it, but... That big piece broke right off and you could root that cutting real easy. It's just a lovely treat. I like it. Over here. <laughs> These scumbag chickens won't give it up. Over there, back where it was, remember? Brother. You got to feed them or they really won't they really won't reward you. You got to feed them. And this is the year I've fed them the most. This tree especially, I've been feeding the hell out of it. Just boom. Big gas pile underneath. Like that was like a pound maybe. Sanford for Tranta in the ground. You get the ones in the Yeah, that would be sweet. Like we're going to just keep going as long as we can on this.
Oh, you going to mine that one there? Oh, I would. I got that. That's technical. Very technical. I'm, I was going to do that. I'm trying to say what we should do next. I thought you meant the other enclosure. I guess, yeah, come in here. You got some? You want to bring the cart over here? Thanks, Clark. You sit down, I'll get it. Thank you, right there. Yeah, tell, tell everybody I'm not allowed in your enclosure. He's not allowed in my enclosure. Just like I'm not allowed to breathe in, to breathe his um, dip and grow. No, what was it? Yeah, oh, no. oh man, I'm getting eaten up in here. Could you fill me up? That th I dropped one over here. See the other one right there somewhere? The big one should be down there somewhere. Thank you. Okay. You got it? Oh no. You're right, it's locked up. Let's see, this is how to do it. There it goes. This is almost done. This is a variegated grimmel over here that lost its pattern, it looks like. Oh, that's not gonna hold, I don't believe. It was fun while it lasted, you know? Makes you wanna break it back like this. Just say, you know, forget it. And then sell it on eBay. These little guys are struggling. Let me show you how to rip someone off real quick. What are they? These little seedlings. Ah, shit, hold on. What ceiling? It's perfect, guys. Variegated. Oh, those little ones? Yeah, yeah they sure are. Your shit. Just this one, though. This one right here. It wants to die. Are those an omelet? No, nah, I don't know what they are. Could it be. Dude, it's just so crowded in here, it's ridiculous. And like, I'm getting like crazy because my hair's got all sorts of shit in it. It's very annoying. I feel like, I feel like jumping in a pool, shaving my head, going to Laguna Beach, bro. I'm gonna have for you to get a haircut for Yeah, it's almost time. Crystal sucking hippie. See a, a little bit too much fertilizer in one spot on that. I'm gonna shake it around like that. And then lay it back down. And do a hand dusting there like that and there. And then give this guy a little shake like that there. That should be alright. I'm out of here. Thanks, Clark. Yeah, Hold on one second. Anomaly seed things look like they need a little more light, but they are alive and doing well. <sighs> I 
I, can we go do those guys that we did? We could, but I don't know if I want to dedicate it to that, you know? Oh, okay. Um, well, they do need it. They do. Let's walk with that over here. Can you grab that thing? Maybe we should actually go this way, yeah. Let's go out. No, no, no. Let's go this way. Oh, man. We got to get in the shade first and foremost. I believe it's 95 degrees still. Chicken's fucking with my tree over here. You gotta put stuff at the base of it or they're gonna fuck it up. Damn it, I'm getting bit by the mans. I'm, I'm in a world of hell right now. But it's all part of the game. Fuck, I don't know. My skin's on fire right now. Somehow got ants on me all over. Hold on one second, man. I'm, I'm hurting. It's not a happy time right now. I really don't like doing what I'm doing right now. It's one of my least favorite things to do is to spread fertilizer. Oh, boy, that feels good. All right, we did it, man. I got my phone wet. I guess I should water some of these plants in, yeah. Can you see that real quick? Well, yeah, but let me uh, let me get a few that I saw in particular that I'd like to hit. Where? Uh... That one right there is the one I want to hit. Went real aggressive and got all over the leaves on some of these. And that should help. Wash it off. All right, bud. How about it? if you want to take it, homie. Try to hit them guys in there. Thank you. This sun is unrelenting.
They're doing pretty good in their new enclosure. They're happy and healthy. Chilling. Fred's in the greenhouse. Probably gonna rotate them from going in the greenhouse. If I could make an extension on that coop or something. I... You know, I really wanted to fertilize these garcinias from uh, from Jim West over here. Oh, I'm, I'm filming the wrong way. I'll tell you what likes a lot of fertilizer is that damn, uh, that damn miracle fruit. You can load it on there. Probably gonna have to give it another big scoop if I want any fruit. And I, I like the fruit. They're just, it's nice to have them around because if you're selling fresh fruit, you throw them in for free with the box and people just, they eat it up, literally. The trick is, is don't get on any other shit. Pour a scoop at the base. Hey, she's still spry. She's going after a tech younger chickens. That chicken's six years old, just about. She's running up on little chickens to beat them up. Don't count her out. Well, guys, right? Did we do it? I think we had a good stream. It's pretty long. I don't know if it was boring or not, but you get to at least see when, when and how someone might put down some fertilizer. Honestly, I think this thing could take a little more. This is a party out here. It's hot. Any leg jumpers today? No, not today. These, these peppers are wilting from the heat. You know, I ate one of these peppers and it was kind of hot. Flower on this Garcinia. 
Don't see one. What about this one? We just repotted this. Yo, Clark. If you make your way over to this Garcinia we just repotted, needs a shitload of water. This thing needs water real bad. That one. It's tipping over and shit. Isn't that frustrating? Here you go, I'm gonna hand it back to you. I would just let this sit, man. Just keep letting it go. I'm gonna get my hand off this. Way. Both of them need it real bad. I just flood the shit out of that one still. I usually just kind of point it at the trunk on these big ones and just let it hit the trunk. Full blast. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's what I like to do. And see how it's just going everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I just wait for bubbles and little craters coming to run for their life. I see, we got a way to go. It's still filling. See the top? Mm -hmm. I want a fucking full layer on that shit, bro. We're almost there. We're getting there. Probably another 10 seconds. But I, yeah, I need this to be totally saturated. Hopefully it settles in. I could use another 10 gallons of soil on the top of that, maybe. That's what I'm thinking, to hold it in place. And some bricks and shit. I think we're good. And then this one too, I would saturate it real good. The one behind it makes shit run for their life. Thank you. I'm gonna go inside and sit down, think about the situation of the world. I feel like I've been road hard and put up wet. Rex. Rex. Applying fertilizer is not a fun ordeal. It's not fun. It's not easy. It's very technical. Thank you for watching. Ooh, my fingernails smell like feces. Utter, utter feces. Ooh, it smells like I've been digging in my ass. Reaching, reaching. All right, guys. Thank you. Wear gloves if you deal with this bone. I'm going to need to take a toothbrush to these nails. I'll be smelling shit if you go and eat a sandwich later. If you just wash your hands with soap and water, it's off your hands. But you're going to eat a bite. If it's underneath your your fingernails, you go to take that bite. You take a sniff and you say, oh, it smells like someone shat in my sandwich. It's espuma under my fingernails. All right, guys. Thank you.